What's going on, Hard Chargers? I am Rios, aka Chelly Chell, and I am the Star Major of Philly. Yo, check it out. If you enjoy the real life content that I am putting out, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you will be notified for when new content is out. Mission, discuss why you need to invest in yourself. Situation, ignorance, well-being, and lack of financial literacy is what hinders most people in the world. Outcome, as a result of this discussion, viewers will get the bluff, which is the bottom line up front, on why you need to invest in yourself. With the topic today speaking on investing in yourself, I just want to throw out straight from the start, the number one thing, the most important thing is you understanding that you are your biggest asset. You are, think about it. What we do, we see shit on Instagram. We like to fly shit, spending money on unnecessary things, pretty much liabilities for what? and you won't invest in yourself, invest in for your knowledge on whatever it is, you won't go ahead and buy and pick up a book. There's a problem there. There's a problem there. So in that saying, you are not understanding if you're doing this, that you are your biggest asset. And I wanna build that in your head, viewers. I wanna build that in your head. So. Take some time, look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that every day or whatever it is, that you are your biggest asset for whatever it comes for you to build the stuff that you want in life, happiness, change your whole situation is you. Another important thing with investing in yourself is getting that mindset. Now mind you, mindset could be a whole subject on its own, but I'm gonna speak on it for this point. You see, if you want to do things, you may want, you may want to change, want to do, want this, want that. But you know what? Without the mindset, either you're never going to start, or if you do start, you're not really having that mindset, you're going to fuck it up. Point blank period. It ain't going to be right. Within anything that you do that you want, you got to get that mindset. It almost sounds like, but it's pretty much to the point where sometimes you gotta hibernate and lock yourself in. Get that mindset, know what you want, and then go forward with it. But understand that you can't just play with it. Don't go around and playing with it like, oh, I'm just do this way. Get the freaking mindset. The pandemic was the best thing that happened to me. And the pandemic should have been the best thing that happened to anybody because of this, because you would have seen that people was going through a lot. People were losing their jobs. People was losing their businesses. A lot of stuff was going on and, and people were suffering this situation and people was just relying on assistance. It's not a way to live, man. And you know what? The people who are up now is a lot of people who use the pandemic wisely and gain that knowledge, that well-being, and that financial literacy, which I would talk about all three. But let me use like one point with knowledge as of myself. I never really read books, never. I was that person just looking at pictures and shit, watching videos. But I showed myself something different and I started reading books. And I was like, fucking damn, man. Most of the detail are in these books compared to them fucking pictures or videos or whatever it was. And I was able to retain that. I didn't give myself enough credit and I was able to retain that. And I learned so much going through the freaking pandemic. I seen so much going through the freaking pandemic. And it was sad seeing stuff out there. But you know, hey, some people didn't use them opportunity wisely, but you could tell the difference from who's up and who's not. And who took that time to gain the overall knowledge 
on whatever it was to better themselves at learning a different job, learning the skill which is with their hands that no matter what, even through a pandemic, that you know what, someone will always need them as if they was a plumber or something, that you will always be needed to do a job and able to get paid. Pandemic was the best thing that happened to open a lot of people's eyes, turn a bad situation into a good situation. Last thing I'm gonna speak on the port with like the pandemic was the best thing that happened was getting together my well-being or what other people did well-being you know mentally physically and spiritually had to get my mental right it put me in the state look ain't nobody out here it's gonna save me i had to get my mental right was depressed fucking out of shape man had to get my health on tap because it was going down. Had to get my health right and got myself together. Unfucked myself and got my health, got my body together. As well as with me, I am my god fearing man. Got myself spiritually closer to God in the Bible, which I've never done in my life. I got my total well-being together. And that's one thing with investing in yourself, knowledge we talked about, but this, this part was well-being, getting that well-being. You invested in totally yourself. You getting that right, that leads you in the right direction because without your well-being, which is total overall health, you're fucked up, pretty much. I'm just saying. Also, during the pandemic, like myself and some people got their financial literacy up. So we talked about the knowledge, talked about well-being. This is financial literacy. And I tell you this, man, you know, with myself and most of us always growing up in an employee mindset, you know, from reading books and having some people who were mentors, people that um, I look to and learn from all together and just going and doing my own research. I tell you this, man, what, what you think you know, you don't really know. And to understand and get your financial literacy right that helped so much. And it could be with anything. But I ain't gonna stick too much on it. I'ma just throw this gem out there. We all have time to get our knowledge, our well being, and our financial literacy right, which in all together is a big thing in investing in yourself. There's one gem I'ma throw out there on financial literacy. Go ahead and get what people consider like the Bible of financial literacy, rich dad, poor dad. Just listen to what I'm telling you. Get it for yourself, pass it on to your kids. Read that book, start with reading that book, man, because that's gonna make you understand money to start it's gonna change something in here and be like, damn, I wish I knew that. You know, get yourself out of that employee all the time mind state. Ain't nothing wrong with being an employee. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But you understand that part, now it's time to step up. Invest in yourself, get in your knowledge, get in your well being. Get in your financial literacy. Do the research. Stop fucking waiting on somebody to do it for you. I'm going to just say that. Stop. Get it right. So everything I was talking about, the point was invest in yourself. What are you doing if you're not doing that? All I know is 
a lot of people is always constantly complaining. I don't have no money. Uh, this job is because of this city, because of this, that I don't have this. Always having excuses, always having problems other than solutions. Stop that shit. Invest in yourself and get that overall knowledge. Get your overall well-being intact. Get that knowledge in your financial literacy. And I tell you, you'll be a whole damn different person instead of a motherfucker always complaining and having fucking excuses. Get that shit together. Because if you're not investing in yourself, what you doing? You just buying shit. You just trying to fraud and look a certain way because you are on Instagram frauding or whatever the hell it is. Come on, get it right. Do yourself right. I'm the star major Philly and I got your six. Unfuck yourself always, hard charges. Philly 7 out.